Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, okay, long story short, I filmed this video. I filmed it, I was happy with it, I thought I gave good opinions and things, and then the file somehow got corrupted. And I lost the file. I tried like 14 things to repair it. But there was just no saving it. The file was gone. So, we are not going to be sad about that, we're going to be a little bit bummed, we are going to remain positive, and I'm going to refilm the video. It's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. So, this is going to be, for the second time, a haul of things that I have gotten because I went home for a week, and oh boy, did I shop. <laughs> I got so many new things, and they're all so pretty. And, you know, vintage, because my life. Um, so I'm going to start off, probably end up doing things in the same order, I'm going to start off with accessories, and I will start with a bag. Ooh. And it is this one! It is so pretty. I got this from a company called House of Tweed. I got it at a country fair that I went to with my mum and dad. Yes, how British. And it also came with a free purse. Look at this. This is so pretty. It makes me so happy. It's pink. And this is, of course, tweed, as is the bag. Um, and apparently this tweed was imported from Paris. So very, very fancy. Has lots of room inside. All of my various cards that I have many of. Um, and the purse actually came free when you bought the bag. The bag was £30 um, and they were doing a deal on that day so like whatever bag you bought, regardless of size, cost £30 and they gave you a free purse. So how could I not turn it down? Um, this is very roomy, you can see it's fairly big. It's not going to fit like any A4 things, it's not going to fit my laptop in it or anything, but it will fit um, my new planner, which I got, I got from Paper Chase. This one. My Adventures in a Unicorn, and I did have a planner, I had this one, which I got earlier, but I just, for some reason, I just wasn't, I was really struggling to use it, I was never using it, so I got this one, I got a new one, and it has stickers, that I'm going to stick around my house, and annoy my housemates, um, but it just has, you know, I can put my to-do lists in there, which is what I like to do, and it's really pretty, um, and sparkly, and this fits in this bag. So I think it's so pretty. It'll go with all of my lovely outfits. It'll go with all the colours that I like to wear. And I just think it's gorgeous. So that is my first and technically second purchase, I guess. And then I have another bag to show you. Woo! My next bag is this one. This one I can't unfortunately link because I got it at a market stall in my hometown. But it's just really pretty. I was in need of a new every um, kind of evening slash everyday bag, although I think I'll use my rucksack as my everyday bag. And this is more of an evening bag since it is smaller. But it's so pretty. Unfortunately, this is not its own compartment. I thought it was, but the zip is purely for fashionable purposes. Um, it's got a top handle and a crossbody strap as well, which is great. But the fact that the bottom isn't a... Uh, it means there's quite a lot of room in here actually. Um, doesn't quite fit the tweed purse I showed, that's a bit too big, but it will fit like most other purses. I think that purse is just abnormally large. <laughs> but I really loved it, I just thought it was so pretty with the gold clasp and the pink with the black piping. Contrast bags are so pretty. I love contrast um, like detail on bags and shoes, so I thought this was gorgeous. And my old white bag. I loved it, but it was not looking very white anymore. So I needed a new one, so I thought I would treat myself to this, and this was only £15 as well. Yay! Next I have a dress, which you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram. If not, I will link it down below. But it's this one! Ah! This is a gorgeous dress. Ah! Ooh. There you go. Can you see it better? Vivian of Holloway. My first ever Vivian of Holloway purchase. And I didn't have any orange dresses. I see, okay, I see this as orange. 
is this orange? Because my boyfriend and my family say it is red, like orange based red, but I just think it's orange, so let me know. It's such a gorgeous, flattering style. I feel like, I call it my housewife dress because I do feel like a housewife in this in the best possible way. It fits like a glove, it's gorgeous. Um, the Vivian of Holloway Boutique is on Holloway Road in London. Um, if you are going to shop online, take your measurements. Get a measuring tape. Hamza, get a measuring tape and measure yourself because all of the website sizing is done in measurements. So like bust 32, waist 24, hip, whatever. Um, whereas in store they do have size like 10, 12, 14 kind of size on the hangers, which is a bit confusing. <laughs> and then some of like the skirts have the waist tag in. So I was looking, so the skirt size 10 is a waist 24. So yeah, look online. And it is a bit more expensive, Vivian of Holloway as a brand, but it's all made from original 1950s patterns. It's made in the UK, it's made ethically. So I think it's worth the extra price and the quality is gorgeous. This is going to be so pretty in spring, moving into summer, and I just love it. My next purchase was from a shop. Now this shop is amazing. It is called Pocket Watches and Petticoats, and they have two shops. They have one in Ipswich and one in Bury St Edmunds. I went to the Bury St Edmunds shop for this, and um, if you have a choice of going to one or the other, I would say that the Bury St Edmunds shop is bigger. Um, the Ipswich one is a boutique, it's only the second floor of a two floor kind of place, so it's a bit smaller. Um, but basically Pocket Watches and Petticoats, they stock five vintage brands. So I got this from Collective. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, this is my first purple thing other than this cardigan. Um, I don't have any purple. <laughs> I don't have any purple dresses or anything. Um, so, well, it's my first purple dress. Yeah, I have a purple skirt. Okay, my first purple dress. But it's so pretty. Look at this. It's a fit and flare style with these straps and beautiful, beautiful sweetheart neckline. And he actually gave me this flower clip for free. Wonderful man who worked there. Um, which I'm wearing in my hair, but you could also wear like on the sweetheart neckline or pinned to the strap or pinned to any sort of thing you wear with it. And I also got a purple waspy belt, this is a hell bunny one, to wear to cinch in the waist of the dress. I love my waspy belts. And now I have four colours with this purple one. But this would be so beautiful for any kind of event, a summer wedding, or I'm probably just going to wear this every day because that's my life. <laughs> I have a dress, but it's so, 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 so pretty. And I got a couple of things from Pocket Watches and Petticoats, including something really exciting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got my first petticoat. I feel like a true vintage person now that I own one of these. It's from Hell Bunny. It's so fluffy and pretty and oh, is there something tied to this? Oh my goodness, there is. So is it even, it's even fluffier than I thought it was. I thought that bit was fluffed in. There you go. Woo. Woo. It's so pretty. It's purple, so it'll go perfectly under the dress and under a lot of my dresses, actually. Purple would work with a lot. Um, unfortunately, I do not know the length of this. It is a size small, um, but I don't know what inch length it is, but it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> to go on top of that um, little ensemble, I also got this. This is also from Collective. It's a little Bolero cardigan, and it's so pretty. Look at this. It's a beautiful cream colour. It stops perfectly just at the waistline because you know vintage styles have a trim little nipped in waist so this works perfectly um it accentuates the waistline of any dress or skirt or anything that you wear it with and this is just oh it's so pretty it's so soft it has nice little button detailing along the sleeves if the camera will focus there you go which is really pretty and a cool tip that the guy showed me was if you have a cardigan with buttons like this one when you want to fold up the sleeves let's see if I can do this you pull 
them inside themselves. There you go, so you can see you still have that gorgeous button detailing and it just looks neater. So I thought that was a really cool tip um, that I will definitely be using. But this is just perfect. This is perfect for any spring or summer event where you're wearing a beautiful dress but you want a cover up in case it gets a bit chilly. <sighs> I wish that was a possibility. Just having it a bit chilly. I think can spring, please. Like, <clears throat> um, but this is perfect for if you just want to put this over your vintage, beautiful evening event dress and you don't want to ruin the look because this works perfectly. Last thing I got from Pocket Watches and Petticoats, yes, we bought quite a bit, was, is just this Hell Bunny top. You know, it's just so pretty. It's this beautiful baby pink soft t-shirt, so soft. It's just really sweet. You know, there's not really much I can say about it. It has a big pink satin bow in the back. I love it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful satin, baby pink colour. It's very similar um, colour, only a bit lighter to the top that I wore in my very vintage Easter lookbook. So pretty. This is just, this, if you're a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl, but you want a t-shirt with a lovely little feminine detail, this is the sweetest thing. So, 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 so perfect for every day and I cannot wait to wear this and I have my beautiful lilac 50 skirt that I am going to love wearing with this for a nice mixing pastels kind of look. So that is it for clothing, but on the note of vintageness, um, again, I got given this hair clip for free, which makes me very happy, although, my God, with the amount we bought. <laughs> But um, if you're looking at my curls and you've seen my first brush out video and you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I've become a curly girl recently and I wear my hair in vintage curls all the time. I have achieved this with foam rollers. These are from Amazon and these I got from Boots. They are perfect, they're soft. They're actually relatively easy to sleep in if you get the clips in the right place so they don't dig into your head. I've kind of mastered the art of that now. And I will hopefully be doing more um, rolling tutorials because I am kind of getting used to it, but I've discovered the secret, the secret to perfect vintage curls that last for literally days, like four days, because I don't wash my hair very often, um, and it is lot of body, lot of body, this stuff is fabulous! I love it so much. It is a setting lotion. It's perfect for doing a wet set. And this is half empty. And the reason for that is because I actually decanted it into here. This is not actually the 5 Give Me Texture Spray. I have a diluted solution of Lot Body and water in here because then I can just spray it into my hair. It's a bit easier than dipping the rollers into a bowl of water, which was what I was doing before. But that's also a good way to go. So you dilute this with water so you really don't get through it very quickly. Um, and what I do is I spray the hair section, run it through with my fingers to make sure it's damp, not wet, damp. And then I do the rollers. You can also have a little bowl of diluted lost body with water and dip your foam rollers in, squeeze them so they're damp and then dampen the hair section before rolling. Either way works really well for me, and then I sleep in it with a hairnet and a scarf on top, so it's a bit comfier. And you can see the curls turn out very big and bouncy and lovely, and they wear very, very well for several days. So I am so happy to have finally joined the Kelly, Kelly Vintage Hair Club. I feel really great about it. <laughs> now moving on, I'm going to show you some of the books, because I've gotten a few new books recently. So the first one is this one. This is a vintage hairstyling book. It is by Amber, Emma Sund, Sund and Sarah Wing. <laughs> and it just has really nice vintage hairstyles in it. And my favourite thing about this is the history section at the front. There's like 10 or so pages and it explains all of the hair through the decades from the 1910 all the way to 1960s. Yes, 60s. Cool. And 
I just found that so fascinating to read about the different things people would do to their hair, the reasons why different hairstyles were in or um, out of fashion. I just found it fascinating. And then it has pictured hair tutorials, as you can see, step-by-step -step pictures and instructions. I do think sometimes I prefer to use videos so I can, because I think that I have to see it be done in motion sometimes. But these are a really, really great reference point, and I really love this book. So another book that I got about kind of beauty and fashion and all that kind of thing is this little one. It's really cute. I like to throw it in my bag to read on the tube. Um, it is How to Be Adored, A Girl's Guide to Hollywood Glamour by Caroline Cox. Really cute. Um, I'm not going to lie, there are some bits, especially in the um like body type dressing for your body type section that are a bit not great <laughs> for body image so if you are a little bit sensitive with um things pertaining to body image maybe be a bit careful with this book um for example one of the advices for body type is this for the balcony body type is to be prepared for a lifetime of sacrifice, which, no. But I like it because it has lots of things about like little tips and not tips, but like factoids and little interesting things about old Hollywood stars, which is what I like, really like to know. And it does have some good like fashion and hairstyling and makeup advice. And I just think occasionally the narrator's voice can be a bit condescending, <laughs> um, but I like to read it nonetheless really cute. And by far my favourite book that I have purchased recently is this one by Sarah Knight. The Life Changing Magic of Not Giving a Beep. This is a book that I needed. <laughs> um, I was looking for kind of a self-help book to help with stress and anxiety and all that fun stuff and I came across this one. She also has a follow-up book called Get Your Beep Together how to stop worrying what you should do so you can finish what you need to do and then go and do what you want to do, which is just a life manual. And I might get that one once I finish this, but this is so good. It really does have great tips on how to stop spending time you don't have doing things you don't want to do with people you don't like, which is wonderful. And I would highly recommend giving it a read. It's really, really funny, but actually generally helpful, which is what I think we all need in a self-help book. Now for beauty. Um, I have bought a few beauty items recently. The first being the foundation, kind of, that I'm wearing on my skin right now. This is the Skin Feels Good Perfecting and Hydrating Skin Tint by Lancome. I was recommended this by my um, local Lancome counter woman who I'm friends with. Um, and her skin looked amazing, she was wearing it, and I was like, oh, want it. Um, so this is, the packaging is so cute, I thought it was going to be a squeezy bottle. But it's got a pump! So much less messy, I love that. It is a water-based, um, hydrating skin tint, it has SPF 23, which I thought was awfully specific, and it is oil-free, it is a water-based product. Um, I really like it, I'm still getting used to kind of wearing it. Um, it Since it is water-based and I have oily skin, I do have to powder and carry blotting papers to touch up any shininess, but that's just because I am ridiculously oily. Um, and you do not need very much. A little goes a long, long way with this product. It You don't want to put too much or it will be cakey, but I really like it and I think it will be perfect moving into spring and summer when we get that warmer weather. My god, please, please can we get the warmer weather now? and you want something nice and light and fresh on your face. Speaking of light and fresh, also got this. Can you see it? This is the Hydrozen Beauty Balm. I used to wear this every single day. When I started getting into makeup, I wore this every day for like a year <laughs> because I didn't want a foundation. I just wanted something light and glowing and natural and this was what I wore, I thought, and I used it again, and it's still as light and weightless feeling and really soft and nice as I remember it. So I love this product, really great beauty balm. 
and it has a nice smell to it. I just really like the smell. And it has SPF 15, so again, great sun protection for black, warmer weather whenever it arrives. <laughs> my final things that I got, um, me and my mum were corralled by sales assistants in Westfield. <laughs> It happens, it happens. And it is by the company Soap and Co, who I had never heard of before. Um, and I got three things. I only have two of them here, one of them is in the bathroom. I got a mineral peeling gel, a body butter, and a body scrub. And I'm going to talk about the body scrub first because, oh my goodness, it is wonderful. You only need to use it once a week. So it's going to last you a really long time. You only need to use it once a week. And I've used it for a couple of weeks now, and I really really love it. So you only need about as much as will fit onto the ends of your fingers if you kind of went like that. That's all you need and you scrub it all over your body. It's a salt scrub using salt from the Dead Sea and wow it makes you feel like reborn. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit like exaggerated but it really does make your skin feel absolutely wonderful. Like my chest and my decollete have never felt this soft in my life and you follow up with the body butter afterwards this is lovely and i like the packaging it looks very vintage i think if you will focus there you go it looks very vintage and it has a gorgeous gorgeous smell oh i love it um this is the they come in three four three three or four cents um this, this is the patchouli lavender vanilla i like the sweetness of it and this again is very rich so you do not need very much um, even if you have very dry skin, you don't need a lot of it because it'll be a bit too rich and it'll probably make you itch. I know that's how I am. If anything's too thick or rich and I put too much of it on, I get itchy like crazy. And then this I haven't actually used on my face yet. The lady used it on my hand and it felt amazing. So it is a minimal peeling gel. Again, you use this once a week and it's apparently a deep action exfoliant, effortlessly peels away dead skin cells, makeup residue and clogged dirt. So you apply it all over your face and you massage it in and it, oh, it just gets all of that gunk out. And honestly, I couldn't stop going like this to my hand after she used it on me. I was like, oh my god. So it feels really good. And what you do is once you've used this, you don't put any other skincare on that night. The next morning you can obviously wash your face and skincare as normal. But after you use this, you just let it be. You let it be. And that's it. Um, this company is fairly expensive. Their actual skincare, like eye creams and eye serums and face serums, holy cow, they are very expensive. I believe this was about £30, but they do in person do deals and stuff, which was quite good. And then they give you little receipts so you get the same deal the next time you go back to repurchase, which I think is great. You know, creating loyal customers is always the way to go, I think, for a company. So. This is wonderful, the scrub is heavenly, and I would highly recommend the company. So that was Soap & Co, in case I didn't say that or you missed it the first time I did. <laughs> and I do believe that that is the last thing I have gotten recently. Oh, side note, I watched Pleasantville for the first time a few weeks ago, and I am obsessed. If I could watch that movie every day... I would. It's a 1998 movie. It's based on 50s sitcoms, kind of making fun of them. But I love it. It's so pretty. And everyone has such nice hair. And pretty fluffy dresses and it's just, oh, it's the perfect movie for me and I adore it. So yeah, that is all of the things which I've gotten recently. I hope you enjoy. I will leave my vintage brush out and my very vintage Easter lookbook in the comments if you want to see a couple of other clothing items I got. I put them in that video. Go check it out. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't do hauls very often because I find that too many hauls can get a bit boring and I don't really, really shop that often. Like I don't accumulate enough things in a short amount of time that still be able to be bought that I could do big hauls regularly. But when I do do them, I really like them. So let me know if you like them and let me know what your favorite thing was that I got and if I enticed you to do any sneaky shopping, I know student loans dropping soon, whoop whoop. <laughs> so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Please subscribe to my channel also. It will make me really happy. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>